So the next mail is, my sister's first son is having a genetic disease called muscular dystrophy. They are planning for a second baby, but they are very scared whether some disease will recur in the next pregnancy. What is your opinion? Yeah, there is a chance for recurrence of almost about 25%. Muscular dystrophy is an X-linked genetic disorder where females are carriers and males are affected. It occurs 90% due to genetic cause and 10% due to sporadic cause. So what can be done in this situation is uh, to do a DNA, DNA analysis for the mother to de detect her carrier status and if she is found to be a carrier, the best treatment, of, uh, treatment which can be offered to her is XCPGD. So can you tell us what an XCPGD is? XCPGD is a procedure where we uh, artificially stimulate the ovaries to produce multiple oocytes by giving multiple injections and, uh, uh, and thereby producing multiple embryos. So the what advantage is that we can do embryo biopsy on these embryos to detect whether the, uh, the embryo is having the genetic disorder and we can transfer those embryos which are not affected leading to a successful live birth. In India, Kraft is the first center to start with this XCPGD. Okay. So, doctor, if a woman can't conceive for a really long while, once they go to the hospital, what are the different stages or procedures that they have to undergo? More of a couple evaluation okay. because what happens is many times the female will come to the hospital and she will be treated and then later we will, under, under, we will diagnose that the male is having a problem. Oh. So there will be a lot of delay unnecessarily. Okay. So it should be always a couple evaluation. When they first come to hospital, it should be the first step is to do a uh, semen analysis and a semen culture for the male and for the female, a basic evaluation like hormone evaluation, uh, like involving thyroid, prolactin uh, and all and uh, ultrasound to rule out many major causes major anomalies and ultrasound evaluation and a tubal patency test will do then depending upon the scenario the treatment varies in most of the situations uh, IVF XC or PG Rindol is not required okay. uh, a simple cost-effective treatment will be will provide a successful pregnancy for majority of the patients okay thank you doctor uh, my friend became pregnant uh, after two years with the help of IUI treatment so doctor can you tell us what an IUI treatment is okay IUI is intrauterine insemination it can be offered for couples, those who are having borderline male factor, like semen count is little less, mm -hmm. and uh, those who are having unexplained infertility or with mild endometriosis. In this case, we give oral medications for the uh, follicular development in the ovary, and once the follicles develop uh, and goes to a adequate size, we give an injection for the ovulation to occur. Mm -hmm. And once ovulation is documented, then we artificially inseminate semen into the uterus. This has got a success rate about 10 to 20 percent. This can be one of the basic treatment modality. Thank you doctor. That was another informative segment. Please mail your queries to youthdiaryrosewall at gmail.com. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you.